Today's readings tell us that in God, all things possible. All of us have things we don't strictly need, and most of us will struggle to the goal of certain comforts. The idea of selling everything to follow Christ seems foolish. What would we find food and shelter? And without our most basic needs, then to how would we? possibly grow in virtue, love that Christ calls us to. Our good Lord acknowledges that this is impossible for human beings. God can loosen the heartlessness of things in our heart. Yes, He can move those attachments that are getting between us and God. We need to offer willingly and cooperate with God. Now let us look at the journey of the young man in today's gospel. He started well, but ended strategically challenged. His journey was a journey of a seeker, was terminated with an end of strategy. Let us see the different stages he underwent as a seeker. First, we met him as a sincere seeker. Although he was young, he showed an interest in spiritual guidance and growth. He was rich, yet he cared for his soul. He consistently obeyed the commands of the Lord Moses. He was humble. As a young man, he not only honored his parents, but was also willing to give spiritual advice of a poor and uneducated novice preacher. He was also wise because all his wealth and righteous position, he still considered that he might be lack something. So he came to Jesus and knew at his feet and asked him, Good Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? The young man questioned Jesus, not simply out of care but to trap him. There was a sincere desire in him to seek the truth. He was a sincere seeker. As stated, Jesus looked at him and he loved him. What a strong, profound statement from Jesus for this young man. But then, when Jesus instructed him to sell all his possessions, and give it to the poor and call for him, the young man went sour and sad because he couldn't let go of his wealth for possession. We too are challenged with our priority and comfort that we, at times, we can let go in serving others and making good, making God first. The second stage of the young man as a shout. It seems that he was like a holy man. He affirmed that he had to obey all commandments. He always led a respectable life. He had not harmed anybody throughout his life. The question is, what good had he done? Yes, he has some, so much wealth so many possessions, but what had he done with all his riches? Did he go out to help others? As Christians, we're all obligated to help others consistently. Suddenly when Jesus suggested to do something good, the man refused. The man wanted to seek eternal life without sacrifice. He was a shallow and did, didn't have a commitment. Yet, he came to Jesus to get eternal life without any willingness to change himself. 
May God bless us all.